Everybody ready? Yes. You didn't do anything. <laughs> All right, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are, you know? Uh, and welcome to this week's episode of Broadway and the Beats, where a Broadway baby, that's Tamara right there, meets a progressive dirty backpacker, I guess that would be myself, to review and talk all things music. You got it. We are best friends and we have a lot in common, but not necessarily our musical taste. So we're here to enlighten each other and all of you about the artists and musicals that we are obsessed with. She is Tamara Lamis, teaching me all things Broadway and musicals. Apparently he forgot my name. <laughs> <laughs> And he's Ronnie O'Hannon, bringing you the independent alternative R&B sounds. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in with us today. And remember, it's going to make us so happy if you comment, like, and share. Okay. All right, so the theme for today's show is good or bad. And so that just means everything we talk about today from our games to our drinking to our songs is going to be about good and or bad. Good or bad. You can't be good and or bad. Totally. You can totally be good <laughs> and bad at the same time. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. But for us, it's going to be good or bad. We'll see. And or. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Just, just <laughs> follow along with us. So in keeping with today's theme, Tamara has brought us a drink recipe that is really interesting. Tamara, is this drink a good or a bad drink? You know, I was going for a drink that seems bad from like maybe the ingredients and the look of it, but tastes good. I haven't tried it yet. You haven't tried it yet. So I guess we'll see what happens. Let's see. <laughs> so this drink is called the Bloody Brain. Um, and it has Bailey's, peach schnapps, and grenadine. Mm -hmm. I know, three ingredients that you're like, uh, how does that make any sense? Yeah, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> so, um, it actually is a little challenging to make, so good luck. I tried it a few times before I came out with like a version that I think it's supposed to look like. We're going to put up the picture now so you can see what it's supposed to look like, mm -hmm. and then we'll show you ours, which... I'm not a bartender, right. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is what it's supposed to look like. Here is what mine looks like. Let me see. Okay. Not and bad. Mine, mine looks like this. It kind of looks a little cloudy, like maybe somebody had a difficulty with a, a bowel movement or something. Ooh. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, so this is actually supposed to be a shot. But mm -hmm. I, I told Ronnie to let's double the recipe so it can, we can sip on it during the whole show. Yes. So it's a okay. sipper. Okay, let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. It's not bad. It looks very weird as you're drinking it. But it tastes good, but it's very um, thick. The, you know, the thing that will mess you up every time is texture, and this, the texture is a little chunky. Yes, <laughs> but it tastes good, but. Right, it's not bad. It's, it's very thick. <laughs> so guys, grab yourself a drink, pause, pause us right now, go grab a drink. Lord, I'm already. He's already <laughs> drunk, guys. a drink. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, come through our journey with us. Let's, how about we say things that are good aspects of each other's personality, but can be also bad. Because I mean, we've been around each other for many years and we've mm -hmm. seen each other at our best and at our worst. Yes. We so, have. well, I think Ronnie see. thinks he doesn't have a worst, so that could be a good and a bad. Uh-huh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> All right, so why don't you go ahead and start? Okay. Um, okay, so you guys, Ronnie is very particular about things and he brings like his all and excellence and everything to 
each situation he's in, which is a beautiful trait. It's very aspiring. He motivates me all the time to like give my all to things. However, <laughs> when we're in a situation, say we're at an Airbnb and say we're cleaning up the Airbnb to leave, Ronnie is so meticulous. He'll be like, I think that painting was a little bit to the right. And I'm just going to wipe down the kitchen one more time. Okay, did everybody get their trash? Are you calling me OCD? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which is good. We've never been charged. But it's also annoying because there's a level of normalcy. Like, it's not that deep. One thing, I will get my deposit back. <laughs> Whatever has to happen. Okay, right. you go. Okay, so for me, oh, that's hard. To, okay, so something that is <laughs> something that is good, but can also be bad. I love you, Tamara. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna. You guys, you're, you're watching our breakup. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess mine is gonna be in reverse. Something that people consider bad, but can also be good. Oh lord. Oh, Tamara. Uh, you know, you want to get somewhere on time. Uh, <laughs> and you say, we're meeting at this time. So you might want to give Tamara like 30 minutes before, just if you want her there at a certain time. And you know, it can be a little bit of a problem sometimes. But the good thing out of that is when Tamara gets there, she's going to look damn amazing, right? She always comes <laughs> looking good. But we love each other and we deal with our bad and good traits. Listen, we're all human. You can't have the bad without the good and nobody's perfect and perfection is boring. So I bring a good time. You bring a good time. Mm -hmm. What's the problem? Yes. <laughs> karaoke battle. So since our theme is good and bad or good versus bad or good and or bad, um, I chose a song uh, that has bad in the title. And it's kind of like the theme of the song too is like that. So it's Bad Girls by Donna Summer. I love disco. In addition to my obsession with musical theater, I'm obsessed with disco. Um, but I, mm, let's just watch it. I really cute i don't think that it tops my karaoke performance but we'll see well oh, it's a we'll competition them... <laughs> is everything a competition absolutely absolutely oh. life is a competition well then i want to redo <laughs> the song that i did for mine was um i used the word good for mine and i did um good golly miss molly from little richard um, i'm sorry know, sue <laughs> little richard <laughs> um, since he passed me this year, I wanted to, you know, I saw that on the list. I was like, oh, this could be really good. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, of course, that man's range is crazy. So the song is like really, really high, but it was fun. So, <laughs> you ready to take a look at it? Good golly, Miss Molly. <laughs> Show sure like to roll. I'm gonna need this turban. Good golly, Miss Molly. Show sure like to roll. I can hear your mama call
you know, your piano skills are something that I haven't seen before. I learned, I learned the solo, especially for mm. this video, you know? Mm. 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 Okay. <laughs> so anyway, let us know whose karaoke you liked better, you know, in the comments, DM us, whatever. Just let us know. I'd like to know. It wasn't a competition, but. Well, maybe we'll have to bring this one back since you're making it a competition. Okay, I'm down. I thought it was a casual. Oh, no. No. Um, Nothing's casual. Oh, listen. <laughs> Challenge accepted. We're doing right. this again, friends, just so everybody is aware. And with that being said, let's get to our song of the week. So this week's song category uh, may seem a little bit shady. That's thanks to Tamara. But keep in mind that we only share, we only present artists and songs that we really, really love. So there's no shade, despite whatever the theme is. So this week's category is bad singing, but good lyrics. So See what I mean? What I mean. Sorry, go ahead. It's not going to be <laughs> shady. And these are not necessarily people who we think are bad singers. But, you know, maybe just the consensus out there is that the person in question has not been known for their vocal prowess. They have not been known to be the best singer in the land. They're not the Barbra Streisand. I guess I will start with mine. Um, my pick is Daphne <laughs> Rubin Vega. She is the, she originated the role of Mimi in Rent on Broadway. So she was the very first Mimi. So we are going to take a look at her performing Out Tonight, which is Mimi's song in Rent. Uh, take it away. I've had knack from way back at breaking the rules once I learned the games. Get up, life's too quick. I know some place sick with this jiggle get to the play. Yeah, yeah. We don't need any money. Um, does she normally sing like that? Like, is that her normal voice or? Yes. So, okay, the crazy thing is, and I'll try to say this as quickly as I can. So she originated the role. Uh -huh. So, you know, Rent has been going on since the 90s. A lot of different casts, a lot of different things. Everyone that plays Mimi now is not a great singer because okay. that's how she did it and that's how she sang. So if you read her Wikipedia, it says her name and it says Broadway dancer. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> it was an interesting song. She did some very interesting things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she's just kind of, um, you know, known as someone who is not a great singer yeah, exactly. in the Broadway, in the musical theater community, mm -hmm. because like it's so, it's brash, it's not pretty. Right. And it worked for the role because it Mimi is, is a, uh, a stripper and like a, an addict and has AIDS and all that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. it, it, it's not like it didn't fit the role, but like right. that's literally, her, that's, that's her, that's how she sings and everything. All right, so I'm going to talk about my song pick of the week. Yes, please, tell um, me. So, um, my song pick is coming from um, this guy named uh, Serpent With Feet. Well, that's his artist's name. Um, his actual name is Josiah Wise. Um, and I pick him not because he has a bad voice, quote unquote, but um, like a lot of people have an issue with his vibrato. So a lot of people will listen to his vibrato and be like, Ooh, it's a little bit too much. Um, but the lyrics are so good. Like the writing that he does to me is amazing. I don't, I don't think I know people who write in the style that he does. It's very poetic. It's very Ooh. much like you're writing a letter to someone. And oh, so it's just, the lyrics are really good. So really pay attention to the lyrics. Um, so anyway, Serpent with, Serpent with Feet, the name of the song is called Bless Your Heart. Will my ink betray me? Will my stories resist the wings and grow feet? And convince me that I'm boasting? Or will my psalms seek the company of lonely breaths? I am here for the theatrics of that video. Right? Ronnie, congratulations. I wasn't bored. Uh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, I mean, the imagery is crazy and the lyrics are super poetic. Mm -hmm. Like those are lyrics that you have to kind of 
read along with sometimes to really get the depth of the meaning, which right. is freaking awesome. That's so dope. But I do get what you're saying about the vibrato. Yeah. So the, fun, the funny thing about vibrato, it's your body's natural rhythm at, as you release air while you're, while you're singing. A lot of times with like the masses, people don't like vibratos that are too fast or too slow. Mm -hmm. So like he has a super fast vibrato because it, 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 it's unsettling to the ear because a vibrato is notes around the note. So they're not in tune. Right. So that's what makes it, I think, for people who go, oh, his voice is like weird. That's why it's because, you know, everybody's vibrato is not in tune. Yeah, that's it. You know, music is all, it's all about what you like. Music is subjective. It's yeah. in the ear of the beholder. <laughs> he is. Yeah, but I think he has a beautiful voice. Yeah, yeah, he, he does. He does. Yeah. But I, I just wanted to play that one as, as an example of what some people might think is a, you know, a mm -hmm. All right, guys. Who do you think won? Who had the best bad singing good lyrics? Mm -hmm. Or however you view it. I don't know about you guys, this drink I probably won't do again. <laughs> <laughs> the texture, it freaks me out. I can't even eat cottage cheese because of texture. But we hope you had a wonderful fun time with us. Hopefully you're tipsy. Even though it's not very far down, it's very potent. So it's very potent. It's don't potent. drive. <laughs> <laughs> and until next time, folks, we will see you. This is Tamara Lanise and Ronnie O'Hannon of Broadway and the Beats. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs>